Are you trying to set up a Google Workspace installation and getting the following error? This domain name is already in use. This video quickly shows you how to get in touch with Google support and what your steps will need to be. First of all, you're going to click on the link here. Then you're going to scroll down to this domain is already in use and just check the dot points here. If none of these apply to you, and in most cases they don't apply to people, you want to fill out this form. Here, type in the domain name that you're trying to use. And then put in a contact email address. You may not know if you've signed up with this domain before, so just select no, this is my first time. All right, you'll now be asked to verify it. So this will require access to where your domain is being hosted. For these, I prefer to use the text record because it's a bit easier than using a CNAME record. So copy the destination target value code just by clicking on the copy icon here and go to the hosting organization for your domain. You'll then need to go to the DNS records for your domain name. If you don't know where that is, just click, just do a search for DNS records and follow the help steps in your companies, in your hosting companies help articles. Once you're there, just quickly add a text record and copy and paste, or sorry, and paste the code that you've copied previously. Go back to the tab with the recovery details on it, scroll down and click on check again. Click, keep clicking check again until you get to this page. In 99% of the cases, the reason you're wanting to free up the domain is because you want to create a new sign up. Um, alternatively, if you think it's being owned by somebody else and you want them to be contacted by Google, select the second option here. But as I said, in 99% of the cases, what we're after is to free up the domain so that we can set up a new Google Workspace installation. So just click on Submit Request. Once the request has been received, you'll see this screen. You'll also get emails sent to your contact email address. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was of assistance to you and remember, subscribe and hit the notification bell to get more Google Workspace information specifically designed for small business owners.